What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. After spending $1.2 million, Pikeville Fire Department has received their new Tower One Fire and Rescue Truck. Outfitted with the newest technology and materials, this truck from Sutphin Corporation is sure to help keep the city of Pikeville safe. Public Information Officer Nicholas Fleming tells us more. So behind me here you'll see uh, we have a custom built 2022 model Sutphin Aerial. It is a 100 foot plus, so it's a 100 foot reach plus the bucket and uh, essentially Sutphin Manufacturing Company built this custom for us. So when I say that, I mean that it was built from the ground up. So everything, every aspect of this truck was uh, specced out by us and they fulfilled that and built that for us at their facility in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, this truck is built for our specific needs in the city of Pikeville. So it is actually replacing a 1981 model Sutphin aerial device of its same size and it has brand new features that uh, you know stay of the art for that type of uh, aerial in the market. We have uh, many high rises and it's not only used for firefighting, it's also used for rescue. So it has an attachment on the front for a Stokes basket for bringing someone off of a high rise or a large building and has many uses other than just firefighting. But it's definitely something that we've needed. Again, the, uh, the truck that it's replacing is a 1981 model. Every member of the fire department is receiving extensive training over a three-day period. Tower One has been built with exact specifications to handle any kind of fire or rescue emergency. It has the largest pump that we have, 2,000 gallons per minute, so it can put out quite a, it can flow quite a bit of water and put out quite a bit of fire if we needed to. So the truck was delivered earlier uh, this week, and Sutphin Manufacturing sent some representatives to train our members on that. So they, they're spending three days with us here. Um, so all of our shifts will receive the same training across the board, uh, not only how to operate the truck, its characteristics that it may have, um, all the new technology that this truck has that our others don't, as well as troubleshooting if we run into any issues in the future with it and maintenance on the truck. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.